Okay guys, it's time for another one of these Habs News Update thingy-majiggies, and in today's jiggy, we're gonna take a look at why you should always keep your head up when you're fishing. We'll talk a bit about Shane Wright and Yuri Slavkovsky, have a good old chat about Pierre-Luc Dubois' press conference, and get up to speed on all the trade rumors. But first, it's a bird, it's a plane. No, you idiot, it's Pa Byron. And according to this article right here, he was nearly hit by a plane yesterday and helped save the man's life. <laughs> How's that for a day's work? Anyway, here's how this one went down. Basically, Byron was out fishing alongside his brother-in-law and his father-in-law, and you know how it is, right? He's busy trying to impress the in-laws with a big fish, looking to reel in a Slavkovsky, when all of a sudden, bam, a seaplane comes out of nowhere and nearly smokes every one of them before crashing into the water. And according to initial news reports, Byron, he jumps in, no hesitation, swims up to the plane, you know, probably dragging his big balls along the way, which weighed him down tremendously. The article says there was metal everywhere, there was gas everywhere, the engine of this thing was hot, and Byron and his family saved this guy's life. Now after the news got a hold of this, Byron would make a comment about it and say, hey, I didn't really do anything. The other guys were the real heroes here, not me. But uh, that's just Byron's character. Give him a pet on the back, this guy. Moving on, all the new faces in town now have their numbers picked. So let's rip the band-aids off and see who's getting what number. Looks like we got Mike Matheson wearing number eight, like good old Big Ben Sherratt back there. Mr. Furby. Doc is going to be wearing number 77 because it turns out he's a big Brett Kulak fan. Big Daddy Knob is going to be wearing number 63 because that's how old he feels when he's wearing all these kids. And get a load of this. Last but not least, we got Chris Weidman giving up his number 20 so that first overall pick Slavkovsky can have his number here in Montreal. Now isn't that something? What a guy this Chris Weidman is. He's a class act, and the more I hear about him, the more happy I am that the Habs decided to, you know, keep this guy around. Now, speaking of Kent Stopsky Slavkovsky, The Athletic recently released their top picks of players that are most likely to win the Cotter Trophy this season, and get a load of this crazy odds, Shane Wright, remember him? He's kicking Yuri's ass on here. It's not even close. Now I know this is just the athletic and they've probably got Harry and Lloyd calling all the shots around here, but still, who knows, maybe Shane Wright goes on and has a hell of a season with the Kraken. He could be a man on a mission, so keep an eye on him. Now on to some Josh Anderson news, and while most of us have spent this summer so far just barbecuing chicken wings and downing beers, Josh Anderson, he's been doing the exact opposite. He's dropped six pounds so far this summer, he's down to 220 now, and he's been doing lots of workouts to strengthen his shoulders, you know, because this is where he's had most of his issues throughout the past couple of years. So let's hope this helps, and uh, Josh Anderson can play in entire 82 games this season. Wouldn't that be something? What a perfect sequel for Miracle 2. Now it's time to talk about a peculiar kind of guy that's involved in a peculiar kind of situation. Mr. Pierre-Luc Dubois. He signed a one-year deal with the Jets the other day and spoke with the media on Monday. And guess what he did? He pretty much played dead in front of the media. He didn't want none of that shit. The guy shot down everything. He made everything look so peachy. Pfft, trade? I didn't ask for a trade. I didn't even want to get traded. What the hell are you guys talking about? And when he was grilled about going to the draft in Montreal, he played it ah cool. He told everybody that he only went there because he lived nearby. He was bored. So anyway, take it with a grain of salt because who really knows what this cat has planned. All I know is it's kind of annoying. Now last but not least, we got some trade rumors heating up about one of our boys. This rumor comes from Jimmy Murphy, no relation to idiot at all, who says that Christian Dvorak trade talks are really, really heating up. He thinks there's about three teams that are all interested in Dvorak's services, and he doesn't see how Christian Dvorak starts next season with the Canadians. 
And that's just it. I mean, it's believable because it kind of makes a little sense to me if they want to clear up some cat broom. It's not that I want to see Dvorak gone or anything like that because I really don't care. I don't give a rat's ass if Dvorak is here next year or not. But in reality, when I look at the team and the situation they're in, and I mean, they still got to sign Furby. Well, if you need cap space, guys like Dvorak and Hoffman, these are the contracts that are a little easier to move. Guys like, you know, Brendan Gallagher on the other hand, <laughs> That one's not going to happen overnight. Anyway, guys, that does it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to punish the like button on the way out of here. And hey, I'll see you next time.